Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a bow tie bracelet on the rainbow loom. Once you have finished your bracelet, it should look something like this. Okay, now before we get started, you're going to want to make sure the red arrow on the loom is pointing away from you. Okay, now we're going to want to start the perimeter bands. Now, to do the perimeter bands, you're going to want to start on the first middle peg and do it to the left peg. Then, you're going to want to go from the middle peg to the right peg. For my perimeter bands, I'm going to be using a clear band. Okay, now you're going to want to go up along the left side of the loom like a single chain, just putting it all the way to the next peg. And you're going to want to do this until the second last peg. Now, once you have reached the second last peg, you're going to want to go from the left peg into the very last middle peg. Now you're going to want to do the same on the right side of the loom. Now you're going to want to start going up in the single chain again. Just going to the next peg in front of it until the second last peg. Now you're going to want to go from the right peg onto the final middle peg. Now you're going to want to make a cup band. Now, to make a cup band, you're going to want to take your elastic. You're going to want to take it apart, put it into a figure eight, and put it onto your two fingers like that. And then you're going to want to place it on the very last middle peg. Now, we're going to start doing our bow ties, which is where my purple, um, pink, and yellow is. Now, you're going to want to go to the beginning of your loom and take the same color you used for your perimeter band. Now, now you're going to want to go on the very first middle peg and go to the next peg. And now you're going to want to take the colors that your bow ties are going to be. Mine are going to be glittery. And you're going to want to take your bands, two bands, and twist it into an eight and place it on your loom. So that it looks like that. From the middle peg to the left bottom peg. You're going to do the same on the other side. You can push down the um, bands, place it on the loom, and place it down, and push your bands down. Now you're going to want to take your color that you use for your primer again, and go from the middle peg to the next peg so that it'll look something like that. Now you're going to want to do your other color for your bow tie. Twist it into an 8 and then place it on your loom. And you're going to push them down and then twist it into an 8 and place it from the middle peg to the right peg so that it looks like that. I'll show you this two more times. Again, take the um, perimeter band, color band, and place it from the middle peg to the next peg. Take your next color, twist it into an eight, and then place it from the middle peg to the lower left peg and push the middle peg 
bands down, and again, twist it into an eight, and then place it from the middle peg to the bottom right peg. Now, I'll show you this one last time. Go from the middle peg to the next peg with your perimeter band color, and then take your next color for your bow tie, and go from the middle peg to the lower um, left peg. Now you, you can just place it down and just push down the bands first and then hook it. Oops. Place it down and then twist it into it and put it down facing to the um, lower peg. So that'll look something like this now. You're going to want to do this until the end. Once you have placed your bands, your loom should look like this. Now, we're going to be ready to start looping our bracelet. Now, you're going to want to turn your loom around so that the arrow is pointing towards you now. You're going to want to get your hook. And first, since you place this, you're going to want to take that off. And then take off the cut band. And then place it back. And then you're going to want to do the cut band again. And place it on your loom. So that it looks like that. Okay, now take your hook. Push back the cap band and grab the top band underneath it. Now you're gonna wanna push back. Um, now you're gonna wanna grab the first two bands and place it on the peg. Now you're gonna wanna do the same for the other side. Grab the two bands and place it onto the peg. Now you're going to want to grab the very bottom band and do the same thing again. Grab the top two bands and place it onto the peg that you did the bow tie on first. And then you're going to want to grab the next two bands again And then grab the very last band. And again, grab the top, top two bands and place it onto the peg. And then do the same on the other side. Grab the two bands and place it there. Now you're going to want to grab the bottom band again. And I'm going to show you this one last time. Now grab the top two bands and place it to the band where you placed the bands from. And then do the same on the other side. Grab the top two bands and place it from the peg it came from. And then grab the very last peg band. You're going to want to do this until the very end. Now we're going to start um, looping the perimeter bands. Now you're going to want to go back to the beginning of your loom and push back the cut band and grab the top band and place it to the left. Then push back the cut band again and grab the last band and place it to the left. Right. Now you're going to want to start looping the perimeter bands on the left side of the loom. Push back the band and place it to the peg in front of it. And then again, push back all those bands and place it to the front and 
and then again push back the bands with the back of your hook and then grab the very last band and place it to the peg in front of it. Now you're going to want to do this until the second last peg. Now once you've reached the end of your loom, push back all the bands and grab the very bottom band and place it into the center. Now we're going to do the same on the right side of the loom. Again, now push back the band, grab the very bottom band, and again push back all those bands with the back of your hook and place it to the peg in front of it. Again, push back all the bands with the back of your hook and place it to the next peg. You're going to want to do this until the end. Now, once you've gone to the end of your loom, you're going to want to push back all those bands, grab the bottom band, and put it into the center. Now, you're going to want to take your hook and put it through all those bands at the very end and grab the color you want for your extension. Mine is going to be clear. And put it on, place it onto your hook and then slide it up so that it doesn't fall off. Now we're ready to take off our bracelet. Now, once you've finished your bracelet, it should look something like this. Now obviously, it's too short to wear. So we're gonna have to make an extension. Now, go back to your loom. Make sure the arrow is pointing away from you. And take your extension colored bands and go up one side of the loom I think probably a five or four or six bands are okay for a average sized wrist. If you have a smaller wrist, you can put less. But mine is only four bands. Now, you can go back to your um, bracelet, go back to your hook, and then put your two fingers on the band and slide the hook out gently and then go back to your loom and turn your loom around so that the arrow is um, pointing towards you and stretch out your band and place it as if it was part of the single chain that you're making. Now get your hook and you're just going to keep grabbing the bottom band for the single chain. Okay, now once you've done that, you're going to want to take the very last band and stretch it into the, oops, into the middle. So now it will look something like that. Now you're going to want to take your clip and just clip it on and then you can take off your bracelet and then this is what you've got so far. And you can just take your cut band, stretch it out with your two fingers like that, go to your clip, and then clip it on so that it looks something like that. Now you have finished your bracelet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.